All right, product review time. Welcome back to Driftless Harry Outdoors. Today we are going to unbox, open, and test out this heater. So, all right, this is the uh, Instafire heater by Vesta. Get this down in here so you can get your eyeballs. And we're going to be using this Pen 7 Instant Heat. We'll go over that a little bit more. Let's open this box up and see what we got. No electricity required for this. This is one of the advantages of having this is a uh, person's going to be able to boondock. Still have heat. Uh, right now it's about 32 degrees, snowing. April 1st, can't make this stuff up. We should be getting warmer. It's not. Six hour canned heat comes in it. So the six hour canned heat that they provide is, a, is from Instafire. There's two cans. This a whole three is what I'm told. Again, I, I bought this with my own money. So um, I can give you an honest review. You see what's in the box here. I pulled that styrofoam off. Kind of cool this out sit you down there here we go all right well this is what we got it comes in two parts and the cool thing with this that from what I'm told is it actually has a fan in it Pull out tray using sniffer. All right, well, we can do that now. See, what else is in here? You got a little, you can cook on this as well. We'll go over that. Let's get rid of this box. We'll put that down there with the rest of them. We'll get you set back up here so we can see what's going on. This is the inside of it. It's good heavy steel here. This is pretty heavy. You got your little door that opens up. Nice. Okay, let's see what's in here. Well, help me understand. Pretty well packaged, fellers and fellettes. I'm telling you, they... They're not skimping on the styrofoam. Here you can see the uh, fan that that will go to heating up and start blowing some air. We're going to see what it'll do temperature wise once we get this put together. Um, we're going to light it and see what it'll do since this is all open. You guys have all been seeing the back of my truck but since this is all open it should be about 32 in here I'll grab my thermometer and we'll get you a, a reading inside here but for now I think we'll set you up here all right we can put that right on top of here is it going to slide in? Oh, man, we got the wind blowing cameras around. We got a windy day. It is bluster. Yesterday, nearly nearly 63 degrees. Really nice. Um, this actually pulls out, okay, to put your canned heat in. This drops down. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me get you in here. So this dropped right down into place once, it, once we move that. But you can actually cook on this. They boil water. I'm not going to do that experiment today because honestly, um, I've got so many other ways of heating things up. I'm not, I don't think it's all that important. But anyway, I guess what I'm going to do, I'm going to get these set in here. One, two, and three. Now, bring you in here again. What they say is you need to do with 
when you have your heater on here is you always have to make sure that number one is lit because as you can see the heat's going to rise and it's going to come right up to this now one thing i haven't located yet and i'm not saying i didn't get it is the deal to open up this door there's a I can see how this is, needs to go on. And I can't imagine that it would be in this, in this, and not really gonna open that up. But there's supposed to be a little rod to pull that. Let me look at the box. Let me see if I got everything out. It would not be unlike me to not get everything that was supposed to come with it. Nothing up my sleeve. Nothing in these bags. Uh-huh. Well, I guess I'm out. Is it stuck into this styrofoam? No, sir and ma'am. Well, well, well. Anyway, this is just going to go underneath here. I'm going to pull this rack off. We're not here. It is. Here's the thing we're looking for right here, fellers and fellettes. I didn't get robbed. It would not be unlike me, but this unit here makes you so you can put out your fire. And also, it allows you, when this is hot, to grab this and pull the tray out. Really, really you can. Really, really, really. Without burning yourself, see? So you can get it out without burning yourself. All right, so we got everything we need. In order to use this, going to drop right down in there. Whoa, help, help me. Oh, I'm pulling it out from the wrong side. Well, what did we do there? Well, well, see, see, well, yeah. see? See, if I would have read, look at that. Pull snuffer right out. It snuffs the old fire out. This is gonna set right on top of there. Caution hot. I know it goes this way. You got the two slots right there. Slides right in. Sets right down on this side. I think you gotta keep that rack in there. Now let me set dust down here. Let's take a look. Let's, let's just take a look. Rack in. Ribs up. There you go. There you have it. So I guess what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my thermometer out. I'm going to uh, get the lids off those. We're going to take a before. We're going to put these this in the truck, shut everything up, and let's see if we can get the temperature up to something comfortable. Um, you know, being it's 32 outside, it'd be nice to be in the 50s or 60s in there to go to sleep. So hang with me. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Again, Driftless Area Outdoors, great time to like, share, subscribe. If you haven't, you like seeing these product reviews, we're going to do another one. I got another really cool product to do after this. Um, but, but let's see what this does. Stick with. All right, so we got her set up. I got the cans in there um, as you can see at the lids off it did pull out pretty good once I did that now we got to light these and we're 35 inside 33 outside
All right, that one's lit. That one's lit. Is that one lit or not? Yeah, it is. All right, so these are all three lit. Let's slide it in. First thing I want to do is I kind of want to see how long it's going to take for that fan to start um, pumping out heat. And then second, see if it warms up. Again, the fan is right here. This is supposed to heat up to 200 square feet. Now, as you well know, I can feel heat coming out of there. We're way, way less than that inside this truck. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, we may end up with pretty decent heat out of this. And you can light just the one can if you want. You can light all three. Let me get some light on this subject if we're going to be in here. don't have a lot of light, but... I don't want to take my Reflectix out yet because of my next product review. And you could stick tuned for that, but I mean, you can see that they're burning in there. I don't think that back one's burning. Let me set you up here. But we're gonna pull that out and look, because if that back one's not burning, I'm not even so sure that fan will come on. All right, so we put our snifter in here. See, lit, lit, not so lit. It don't want to light, does it? There we got her light. All right, let's slide her. All right, all three of them are lit. Let's see how long it takes for that heater to kick on. Hey, this this baby works pretty good. But I'm not going to set it on top because I'm afraid it'll be just a little on the warm side when I need to touch it. Again, really sturdy construction on this fella. You can kind of move it around. I can't see cooking bacon and eggs on the top of that. I think if a guy started out hungry, he'd be dang hun hungry before he got his bacon and eggs. But, you know, who knows? Let's get down here. Maybe we can see when that fan takes off. Blades aren't moving yet. Blades are not moving yet, but you know, it's only been in here for a minute, so. And what those fans do is there's fins on the back of them, and it gets hot. And as these fins get hot, they give off energy, and it turns that magnoelectric fan, and it'll start turning and blowing out heat and um yeah we'll see just how it works i'll bring you back in when it starts turning i've got a timer so we'll see how many minutes it takes and i'm going to shut the truck up so we can see if it gets warm in here all right well i'm not even fully into the truck yet and i noticed the fan is turning it's actually turning pretty good and it's uh starting to move quite a bit of heat so i'm gonna See, my lid's not even closed yet. Reach up here, get that down. So we can at least try to keep the heat in here. Again, we're at 34.9 in here, 34.5 outside. So it's about the same temperature in here as it is outside. And we'll see if this thing heats it up. Um, I really like the construction. Uh, I think it's simple to use. I like the fact there's no electricity. So uh, again, if you had this, you know, I'm sure the bottom might get a little warm and maybe we can test that. But 
I, I really think this may be tent friendly if it just was to sit on something, you know, simple. Uh, if you've got a, a griddle that you're going to be cooking with, if you used to set it on this, on your tent floor, or maybe even a couple blocks of wood, that from the fire in the corner of your um, tent, I think you could really heat up your tent really nice with this. Like, again, I've seen people do tests with these where they do the um, coffee or something like that. You know, you better have your patience. You better have both legs in your patience pants because it's going to be a minute. But as far as uh, heating up 200 square feet or a small area like this or a tent, I'll tell you what, I think this is going to work. Like I actually even kind of like the little glow that it's given when you look down in there. The fan is turning pretty fast now. I mean, I'm feeling air. I can feel air coming out. Um, I don't think it'd be enough to move a ribbon or something like that, but uh, you can feel it. All right, again, 34.9. So we've gone up a little bit. We're gonna give this, say, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to come back and we'll see what we got. It's actually, I think it's 9.04. I don't think my clock has changed. But we're going to just take a break and I'll bring you back in after a few minutes and we'll see how warm this is. And I'll give you my, I guess, my overall assessment if this is going to work for me. All right, guys, here we are. We've got the heater going. It's kicking out in here. I'm telling you, I am comfortable. Um, it says it's, uh, what, 43 in here? Let's see what it, we get for heat coming out of this thing. 124, 179, 180 degrees coming out of here. I mean, you can noticeably feel the heat. Um, this is cool to the touch. I got my hand right on it. This is cool to the touch. You don't have to worry about this in your tent. I mean, this this can be... I mean, I have it on top of my refrigerator, which I'll never do that camping because that's where the beer is. And... But to have this down here, the heat's rising. That fan is noticeably kicking out heat. I really like this product. I think it's really well built. Um... I like the idea of, of using it. So I think the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you how easy it is, or not easy, to uh, snuff, out the, snuff out the flames. And I'll give you my overall conclusion on this. All right, here we go. So we just put this down here. I may not be able to do this real good one-handed, as always. So let's see what we got. These pull out. All right, pretty simple so far. Done. Game over. So in 15 minutes, I was able to raise this to 44, 10 degrees, 15 minutes in this small little area. So fall, spring, evenings, like, uh, and, and nights where it's going to get down into the 20s. I'm not talking about below freezing type situation, but in the 20s, maybe even as low as 20. I don't, uh, I don't see no reason why this won't keep you warm in the back of a truck or even in a tent. Um, very good product. I like it. Uh, I'm going to use it some more. You can get yours from Amazon. That's where I got mine. I'll try to leave a link below. I really like it. Um, I guess I'm going to give it, right now, I'm going to give it four and a half out of five stars. I don't know what else they would do different that other than give me three cans because this holds three cans when I pay for it. 
I'd, I'd probably even pay an extra $10 just to know I had all three cans and I'm ready to go. Um, that'd be my only gripe against it, and that isn't much. For Jim, Driftless Area Outdoors, the Instafire, Vesta, self-powered indoor space heater, and stove, I like it. Get yours on Amazon. Probably go right to their website as well. For Jim, Driftless Area Outdoors, thanks for coming along. Take care of each other, and we'll see you next time.